les gars, it's your girl Ari and welcome back to this YouTube channel where we talk, learn and take action to live our best life. Cause nobody get time for us in seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, so let's go! This video is actually the part two of our Q&A. If you didn't see the first one, go check that out. I will link it up here and then in the description box below. Otherwise, I think we are left with few questions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're talking about nutrition, personal development, workout. So if you are interested again don't forget to subscribe to this channel let's go oh yeah by the way i thought it was cute for today to do that there are days like this so why not since i follow you i never saw you out of shape how do you do that Coralie? uh well it's because you don't live with me Coralie. <laughs> the good thing is i know myself i know my body quite well so before you get to see me out of shape, I already saw it coming far, far, far away. So I readjusted it. What happens is that when I see that few things are coming here and there, like for example, fat, most likely, I would just readjust my diet often. This will put me back to a normal Ori, which you know maybe just now, or you've been knowing for years. It's a consequence of me knowing my body that much that I can readjust it if ever I have an event or if ever I see that something is going off, I would readjust it. And I wish you get to that point as well, because I must admit it's quite comfortable because you feel more flexible and more in charge. You're not suffering from things happening in life and be like, oh, I don't know what is going on. My gym is closed and I need to work out to stay in shape mentally and physically. How did you handle that during lockdown? Can you share your advice, please, Cindy? Cindy, there are lots of girls here. Okay, that's good. I like you. <laughs> I didn't really experience lockdown. So I was in Sydney when the rest of the world was uh, in lockdown. There were no lockdown in Sydney, but gyms were closed at some point. So there were some stairs outside of my apartment. So what I would do is going down the stairs. It was quite big numbers of stairs. So going down, running and up, down and up two times and then down and up down and up two times walking as my recovery and i would do that for 30 minutes during that time i was listening to my friend vigilu by the way if you watch that video man that's for you thank you for entertaining me during those 30 minutes i was listening to the video mix i mean that's a video but i was just listening to it going down and up you can listen to a podcast or anything it goes quite fast to be honest i was doing this fasted because at least it's done and i can enjoy my breakfast after it has some effects on me that i really like you could do that as a try and after that because i like to vary the way i exercise i hate to do exactly the same thing over and over that's also the reason why on this channel there are lots of different workouts i started to do jumping rope and that's also very efficient so i was like rotating between running walking and then uh, jumping rope and yeah that was pretty much it after that i did some core exercises so there is one that i was doing for myself which i posted on this channel as well i'll put it somewhere here the third thing as an advice when it comes to your lockdown you don't have access to the gym and you want to control your weight is the nutrition so i would also play on how i eat to uh, make sure that i stay quite consistent i eventually managed to lose weight actually lose fat so that was pretty good but for that you have to know your body you have to know what your body needs if you don't know make sure to just knock at the door of any professional to help you knowing what your body needs on daily basis to help you reach your goals whether it's to lose weight fat in general or gain weight muscles in general to my people where the gyms are closed i feel you stay consistent working out don't just give up and sit at your couch and wait for the gyms to reopen there are lots of options you can run you can walk you can watch out your diet use that can i stay in shape if i don't work out rob yes yes you can stay in shape if you don't work out that was the same thing as i mentioned just now with your diet. If ever your body is good the way it is and you are not looking for any particular, you know, boosts in your day that you can get from workout and you just want to stay in shape, then use diet at your advantage. I cannot just tell you basic rules because basic rules might not work for you. So that's why I barely give advice like, uh, I don't know, don't eat carbs at night because it might work for 70% of people and then the other 30% will be like, yeah, I stopped, but nothing have, has changed and that's totally normal. So yeah, just try to know what works for your body and apply this on daily basis until your gyms are closed. Uh, or actually you're not looking to work out. So yeah, well, uh, diet is your best friend. <laughs>
Thank you for what you do for others, Audrey. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. I didn't even notice that was not a question. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. And thank you for all your support and everything. So I like it. Beautiful initiative. I really enjoy watching you growing over time. I'm sure your channel helps more than you can imagine, Thomas. Wow, I'm so lucky to have all your comments. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you also helped me a lot and that's that's amazing. This journey has been amazing so far. So I, I really enjoy all of that, you know, sitting in front of the camera. That's a big challenge for me, but I really enjoy this. And um, yeah, I really look forward to where this will lead me. So yeah, thank you so much for your support and I hope you will enjoy what's coming in 2021. I love your French accent. I feel like I'm traveling each time, merci. <laughs> Claudia. I won't say I love my French accent, but I embrace it. I know that I have it somehow. So I know that some people are like, yeah, well, how come you have so much of a strong accent, but sometimes you don't. I think it depends on how confident I am talking. So whenever you feel like I'm so fluent and I have this American accent, which I'm not sure I have anyway. Then that means I'm super comfortable. Otherwise, it's just like me talking, talking, talking. And when I talk too much, I tend to have this French accent. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm glad you like it because uh, I can't say the same about me, but that's that's all good. Your consistency, well, there, there is no questions here. <laughs> your consistency is admirable. Despite your busy schedule, you always manage to stay on this platform, which is good for us. So thank you. I've shared your content to my family to encourage your activity, Seb. Thank you. I really appreciate appreciate what you're saying. I mean, yes, it's been a, a busy year as you know, like even for you, even for me, for everyone. I mean, who didn't have a busy year this year? I realized, and that's the last question. So I will uh, explain a little bit more on that. I feel like consistency is really something we neglect too much. I realized this year, looking at everyone, you know, uh, talking to everyone, probably because of this channel as well, people become successful. And when I say successful, I mean, in a general sense, not just money wise, because they they stay consistent at what they're doing and they become knowledgeable in whatever they do. Therefore, people go there side if they want to have any answers to their questions and that's actually what i'm doing and i recommend everyone to do the key is really consistency stay consistent at whatever you want to master in a certain period of time until you master it then you move to the next topic because i feel like we are too driven to get results and if we don't have these results in a certain period of time then we give up so you know i could have said oh i only have few hundreds on this channel so i will just stop and then I don't know if ever someone asks questions, they will ask me. Well, no, I have this challenge for myself to do what I want to do with this channel and to get something improved in me. So I will keep on doing it. As long as I help you, then you help me. And this channel helps me. So that's pretty good and that's what I wish you. And before I stop this video, I want to go back to a story that I did on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, my uh, tag is Ori Official. So that's the same as this channel. I share, you know, everything that I do in my day which is related to nutrition workout and personal development which is actually my life so i like it because i don't have to play anything i put this story about if life was a game would you play differently a lot of you responded thank you so much for taking the time to respond to that question because uh, i really felt that it was a good question and i was interested in your answers 67 i think of you said yes you'd play differently some of you asked me the question directly and say if life was a game what would i Ari? do would I play differently and my answer is yes why I will answer that question is because I've never been that girl who doesn't like to take risks I always took risks but I would probably take a bit more risks and I started to do that actually I don't have the time to go through all details but I did certain things especially this year I took my courage and I was like okay all right let's go and do it and see what happens there is no good and bad decision take a decision and make it the right one that's what i did and that's what i want you to do as well and that's my answer to that question i feel we tend to hold on too much into things for example i'm in singapore i will soon not be in singapore anymore where i've lived eight years of my life here so i could just be like oh 
I want to stay in Singapore. Let things happen the way it has to happen and embrace everything and play full out. That's what it is. Play full out means not in a light-minded way, but more in a, I want to experience as much as possible. So yeah, that's my answer to that question. I hope guys you like this video and those answers were really useful to you. If ever you have other questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. If you like this video, if you appreciate my answers, if those answers help you in any sorts of way, don't forget to smash the like button. And also because this channel is all about nutrition, workout, personal development, then you can subscribe to this channel to have more videos, more workouts, more nutrition tips to stay healthy and more personal development to help you live your best life this year, especially this one coming up, which is 2021. And about that, I don't like to think that 2021 would magically bring some good in our life because we are owner of our destiny and whatever happens in our life. So make it so 2021 is a good year for you, regardless of everything that is happening in the world. All right, that's it for me, guys. You take care, have a beautiful day, and I see you in the next one. Peace.